Welcome to the Frist Art Museum. We are in the galleries now with the exhibition J.M.W. Turner, Quest for the Sublime. This is a wonderful exhibition. We would love for you to be here in person, but in lieu of that, I am going to walk you through and we're going to take a look at some of these masterworks, not necessarily through the eyes of an art historian, but imagining ourselves as if we are within the mind of the painter himself. Anybody who's tried to be a painter knows that watercolor is one of the most difficult mediums that you can work with. It's completely unforgiving. You have a white piece of paper and you put something on it and you can't change it. You can add to it, but you can't subtract. You can't cover it up. So you have to be very, very assured in what you're going to do. But the end result is that there is a remarkable luminosity as the whiteness of the paper uh, exudes through the pigment that's on top of it and gives you this sense of, of light coming from within. And for Turner, light and color were indistinguishable. They were inseparable. They were one and the same. So how in oil painting do you get the same effect? For him, the approach was to paint a, a field of white, of white oil paint, and then very, very thin layers of tinted color on top of that. So you have that sim a similar sense of luminosity, but with the advantage of oil paint where you can change it, you can adapt it, you can scrape it away, you can paint over it, you can cover something up. So it was really the best of both worlds. When the Turner Bequest came to the Tate in London, it came with a, a number of works that were clearly finished works, a number of works that were studies or sketches, and many works that that nobody really knew. Did Turner intend for this to be shown in the way that we're looking at it? Is it, a, is it an unfinished painting? Is it uh, kind of a, uh, laying the groundwork for something else? And for Turner, it's not unusual for him to have a number of canvases like the one that we're looking at um, in, you know, stacked against the wall. And when he wanted to finish a painting, he would pull the canvas out and add some element to it. But for our eyes, for our modern eyes, these look every bit as interesting, even if they're not finished. And that, I think, is one of the things that has inspired us to appreciate Turner, because so much of his work is about understanding the artist's process, looking into the artist's mind, seeing the same thing that he's seeing, and hopefully we're inspired by the same things that he's inspired by.